So let's start the session by talking about Dorado, which is our new base cooler. Um, so I'm going to talk through a little bit the motivation why we're making a new base cooler. Um, I then want to go through uh, some of the great new features that have just come out in uh, 0.3, which we released yesterday of the command line tools. Um, and then after that, I want to talk a little bit about the future, what we're going to be doing in order to integrate Dorado into uh, Minnow for live base calling. So hopefully everyone knows what I mean when I talk about base calling, but just in case, base calling is the process of turning the raw signal which comes off the instrument back into the set of DNA or RNA bases, uh, which were the molecule that went through the pore, the information that you actually want to get from the sequencer. <coughs> um, Oxford Nanopore's base callers are all based on machine learning methodologies, as you probably know. We use something called a recurrent neural network. It's very computationally expensive. And so typically, we're running our base callers on NVIDIA GPU devices to get the performance that we want. So why are we making a new base caller? Uh, there's kind of four big reasons, really. The first one is ease of use. So uh, Guppy's been around for quite a few years now. It's got a lot of features in it. We've tried out a lot of different techniques over the years to get uh, accuracy and performance. Um, a lot of the stuff that's in Guppy's not really necessary anymore, and it can be a little bit difficult to configure. People who've played around with it will know sometimes it's hard to get good performance out of it. So what we want to do with Dorado is start with a blank sheet of paper and make something that's just really performant and very simple to use for the stuff that you need to be able to do now. Um, performance is a really big thing. GPUs are getting faster all the time. Uh, we've moved some of our platforms to new Ampere architecture, GPUs, and we want to make sure that we're getting every ounce of performance that we can do out of those devices. Um, so we've set ourselves some fairly uh, high bar performance goals. Uh, as Clive mentioned yesterday, what we wanted to be able to do was uh, provide you with a base caller where you can have 24 flow cells running in a Promethean, generating 150 gigabases each over a 72-hour run. And if you're running that, we want Dorado to be able to keep up with the high accuracy base calling over the, the course of that 72-hour run. And actually, with Dorado 0.3, we've now hit that performance goal. In fact, we've exceeded it. And uh, that's also true now for the 5 kilohertz run condition as well. Um, and the final thing is we have this new uh, raw data file format, Pod5, which uh, hopefully a lot of you have heard about now. Um, and we've designed Dorado around Pod5. We had a lot of performance problems getting um, really good performance out of Fast5. And because we've moved to Pod5 now, that's really simplified the architecture for us so we can make things much faster. Um, development velocity is also really important to us. We move very fast as a company. We're always coming up with new ideas. Um, and we want to get those into customers' hands really, really quickly. Um, and one of the things that was sometimes difficult with Guppy is we wrote almost all of the Guppy code stack ourselves, so there was a lot of ONT proprietary code in there. And that meant if we wanted to try out a new machine learning primitive change around the way things worked, we had to write a lot of code before we could try that. Um, but the machine learning ecosystems moved on quite a lot in the intervening time. So uh, there's a library called PyTorch, which is a Python machine learning library I'm, I'm sure a lot of you have used. And the C++ backend of that, uh, LibTorch, that's become available now on all of the platforms that we're interested in running on um, and, and has become quite performant. So we've built Dorado on top of LibTorch. Um, and that means LibTorch does a lot of the heavy lifting for us and we can concentrate on writing base callers rather than having to write machine learning libraries all the time. And then the final thing is new platforms. Uh, so we've been looking at Apple Silicon for quite a while. And um, Dorado has a, a high-performance GPU-accelerated back-end for Apple Silicon running on M1 and M2 devices. Um, we've written a lot of code in Metal, which is the language which is used for GPU acceleration on that hardware. And the exciting thing about that is it means that we can provide you with a high-performance iPad base caller implementation now. <coughs> okay. Uh, so we released Dorado 0.3 yesterday. Hopefully you've seen the, the messages about that. Um, so what is Dorado? The first thing to say about it is it's open source. You can go on to GitHub and take a look at all the source code and, and download it from there. Pull requests are very welcome, so people who are developers, we'd love for you to contribute. Um, and it's, been, it's a little bit different to the previous base callers that we've uh, shipped in that there's no developer license required to get access to the GitHub repo. It's, it's fully open source. Anyone that goes online can go and have a look. So Dorado ships as a single command line executable. Um, and it takes a positional argument for the task that you want to perform. So the first thing that you're probably going to want to do is download a model. 
You could use the Dorado download command, pass in the dash dash model argument, specify the model that you want. Dorado is a bit different to Guppy in that we don't package all of the models with the, the base calling software. You just download the models that you want. And this is a nice feature because it means in the future we could decouple uh, shipping new models. If we train new models and we get more accuracy or, or better performance, we can ship those without necessarily having to do software updates. Um, if you don't know what models are available, download has a, has a list uh, argument, and that will give you the list of all of the models that Dorado thinks it can get hold of. Um, so once you've got a model, uh, you're probably going to want to do some base calling with it. So the Dorado base caller command is what you use. Uh, you then specify the model, you specify an input directory, and that should be it. Basically, that should be all you need to do. Um, and the interesting thing you'll notice here is that Dorado is outputting its output directly to the standard output. So uh, new for 0 0.3, by default, we output BAM. So you can just pipe that straight into a BAM file. You'll get a single BAM file for your entire base calling run. Um, if you output to uh, TTY, if you, if you don't pipe it to anything, we'll, we'll default to SAM just so that it's human readable, but otherwise the default's BAM. If you want fast Q or SAM, you can pass in a flag and we'll emit those formats for you instead. Mod base, very straightforward to do. Simply add the modified bases switch uh, and the type of modified bases that you want. And as long as we have the model available, we'll download it for you and we will produce modified base calls for your base calling. Uh, and the one thing that I want to say about this, uh, for people who've done modified base calling in Guppy, you'll have seen that there's a big performance impact for doing that. Um, on Dorado, all of the modified base calling has been GPU accelerated now, so, so the performance penalty for doing mod bases is much, much smaller than it was before. <coughs> uh, another new feature for 0 0.3 is alignment. So we've got a standalone aligner command. You simply pass in a reference, pass in your base called reads, and it will pipe out aligned uh, BAM files for you. Um, if you want to do alignment when you do base calling, you can also just do both at the same time. Simply pass a dash dash reference argument to the base caller, um, and it will produce aligned reads for you too. Uh, so <laughs> this is hopefully a feature that quite a lot of people will be pleased to see has been added. Um, we've got a lot of requests for this. Dorado now has a summary subcommand. So uh, for people who need a sequencing summary file for, for their downstream tools, um, this is now done as a post-process to base calling in Dorado. So you call Dorado summary, pass in your BAM file that you've generated, uh, and Dorado will create a sequencing summary text file for you with all of the data in that you want. Uh, we also have duplex in the command line Dorado tools. I'm not going to talk about this too much for now because Catherine's going to go into this in a lot more detail in a minute. Uh, just uh, wanted to say that um, it's much faster now than it was in Guppy. So all of that stuff's available now. You can go and download Dorado 0 0.3 and, and play around with all of those features. But what are we doing in the future? So the next thing that we want to, to get done is get Dorado into Minnow so that you can do live base calling. Um, so I wanted to go through a quick primer about how that works at the moment. There's quite a lot on this slide, apologies. Um, but basically, the live base calling ecosystem uh, is all centered around an executable called the Guppy Base Call Server. And that's running on your box, on your instrument, or on your host PC if you're using a MinIron. Um, the Guppy Base Call Server talks to all the compute resources that are available on your machine. And then we have a collection of different clients which can talk to the Guppy Base Call Server. So there's a command line client, Guppy Base Call Client. There's a C++ client library, and that's linked into Minnow. So the way that Minnow does base calling is it talks to the client library, the client library sends requests to the Base Call Server, and the Base Call Server does the work. Um, and uh, hopefully some of you have also used ONT Py Guppy client lib, which is a Python client which can also talk to the base call server, so you can write Python applications that work with the Guppy base call server. So what I want to introduce today is the Dorado base call server. Um, so we've created this executable, uh, and it's designed to be a drop-in replacement for the Guppy base call server. So it provides base calling using Dorado, so you get all of the benefits of, of you know, great new high-performance uh, canonical and mod-based base calling. Um, all of the other features that have not yet been added to Dorado are still available in the Dorado base call server, and we serve those up using the legacy guppy functionality inside the base call server. So for example, barcoding, if you want to do barcode demultiplexing, the, barcode, the, the Dorado base call server can do that for you. Um, so we're going to provide a command line client, ONT base call client, it's basically the same as the Guppy base call client. The C++ client library will continue to be able to talk to the Dorado base call server. 
so you'll be able to do live base calling. Um, and the other neat feature about keeping this ecosystem is it means the Python client library will continue to be able to talk to the Dorado base call server. So if you have workflows where you're using ONT PyGuppy client lib at the moment, you should be able to seamlessly switch over to using Dorado when we release the server. Okay, so when's all this good stuff coming? Uh, Rosemary talked about this a little bit uh, at the end of the day yesterday. Minnow 5.7, we're aiming for uh, probably July release, um, and that's gonna have a complete replacement of Guppy. So on every platform, including the Mark 1C, um, for all of the work that's um, base calling related in, uh, in Minnow, we will switch over to Dorado. Um, and as I said before, that will have a complete feature set. There's not going to be any features that were in Guppy that you can no longer uh, run in Dorado. Um, and following on very closely after Minnow 5.7, uh, we'll be bringing out the next version, 5.8. Um, and, and the top priority thing that we want to get in is live duplex. So um, you'll be able to uh, do duplex base calling live when you're running your experiments. Um, and after that, we'll be switching out some of the features that are currently provided by Guppy with the new Dorado alternatives. Uh, once those come online. So uh, alignment will get cut across, adapter and primer trimming, and then obviously barcoding is the big one. Okay, so how do you get hold of Dorado? As I said, it's on GitHub. Um, we always have the latest pre-built binaries available there, so you can go and download from there. Dorado is also available, the standalone tools on the community. And when Minnow 5.7 ships, we will ship the Dorado base call server at the same time, and that will all be on the community as well. Thank you.